From the award-winning KCIW Newsroom, Newsbreak. As of Tuesday, September 19th, Brookings City Manager Janelle Howard told petitioners for the Brookings City Council recall campaign by email that she's, in her words, committed to getting recall signatures to the county clerk by the end of the week. Howard has had those sheets to recall Mayor Hedenskog and Councilors Schreiber and Morawski since September 6th, and it's an awkward situation. Janelle Howard is the city manager and the city recorder and the local elections official, but she's also the reason for the recall. And as the elections official, she knows that the deadline for verified signatures is Sunday, October 8th. Now, petitioners say they've submitted more than the 463 signatures necessary for the recall of those three council members, but those signatures must be verified by County Clerk Shelley Denny. And once she gets them, she'll have 10 days to make sure all of the signatures are valid, and that could cause a possible issue if there aren't enough signatures that are valid. It means that the folks behind the recall might not have enough time to gather more signers by the deadline of October 8th. Now, all of this comes down to theft. You may remember that Howard was caught stealing from Fred Meyer. She eventually pled no contest to charges, but video surveillance showed she stole more than a dozen times from that store in just a three-month period. She's been banned from all Kroger properties as a result. But after Mayor Hedenskog and Councilors Murawski and Schreiber voted to reinstate Howard after months of paid leave and objections by Brookings City employees, law enforcement, and the public, Citizens promised a recall. This is an issue that has a lot of grassroots support, including from both local political parties as well as citizen activists. And, of course, KCIW will continue to follow this story and bring updates as they occur. For KCIW News, I'm Lori Gallo-Stoddard.